Stop right there, guys. Stop right there. Listen, I, I wasn't going to get on here. I wasn't going to get on here as a minister. I'm, I wasn't going to get on here. But I'm, I'm going to tell you guys something. I, as I sit at my table this afternoon, and, you know, we know that we're not about politics, okay? Uh, this war has been going on not just with Donald Trump. This war has been going on for decades. This war is not started with Biden, neither. This war started years and decades ago. Listen, I'm not in the politics. I'm not in the Democrats. I'm not in Republicans. I'm in for what God wants. And this is what God has spoke to me about the matter, okay? Um, as Christians, we just stood by this country and we just uh, shut our mouths. We just, you know, we don't believe in getting in a fight or, or getting in politics and, and arguing. And, and, and as a church and as a body of Christ, we've just been silent when we needed to be the ones to stand up for this country. But I'm, I'm standing up. I don't know about you. I, I may be a, a preacher that just, uh, you know, y'all expect us to go hide in a church somewhere and not say anything. Well, I'm bold and God's gave me boldness for this hour because I know what God wants for this country, not, not matter who's wrong or who's right, okay? Uh, but if we want to go pointing fingers and sin and, and, and want to diet somebody just because you don't want them to run for office, well, guess what? Um, the shoe fits on your half too because, guys, let's face it. We don't have nothing in this White House. We have a fellow in there that believes in abortion. He believes in uh, destroying this country is all we've saw in the last four years. And, and, and as, as church, as Christians, as ministers, we keep silent when we don't need to be. And that's what's wrong with the church. You hide behind the church. You just think, well, you know, we can just keep silent about this. But let me tell you guys something. If you're a Christian, if you love God, and if you don't stand up for what God wants for this country, guys, listen, we, we, we can't let anything back in this country. I think one thing Trump opened our eyes to uh, when he was in office the last four years from 2016 I think he opened a lot of people's eyes that, you know, we're tired of this country just going down to the pits, you know, putting anybody in office we can. Uh, you know, my point is this, if Trump's guilty, so be it. If he's guilty of doing charge, whatever. But I can tell you one thing that I've sat back and watched and I'm going to, I'm going to speak it. I've sat back and watched this country ever since I was born in the 1979 or 1978. I've sat back and watched this country just go to anybody and run it to the ground. And we're sick of it. Even as a church, even, a, even as, as a politics or whatever you are. But if Trump is guilty, let him be guilty. But my thing is this. He's the only president we've had in history, I'd say almost history, that has done anything for this country the way he has. And whether he's guilty, whether he's a, I don't care what he is, he can do, he can do the job. We got a president there right now that can't even, don't even know his name half the time. And he's not for this country. I can already see that. And I know you guys can too. And we have a right to voice our opinions. We have a right to vote. Our Constitution is gone. That's all I'm going to say. As a minister, that's all I'm going to say. I think as Christians, we need to stand up and voice our opinions. And guys, if you ain't there in November to vote, shame on you. Guys, God is leaving this up to us. You hear what I'm saying? He's leaving us up. God, God's already proven this man to us. He's the man for the job. I don't care what his personal background is. I could care less. When he gets in that office, he turns this country around, and that's what this country needs. It needs somebody smart enough to sit in that office, and he's already proven himself, so leave him alone and let him do his job. That's all I got to say. You can like this video, share this video with somebody else, follow us up top for more, but as Christians, guys, I'm telling you, we need... 
to let our voice be heard. And yes, we're sick of it. Everybody. That's all I got to say, guys. Love you. Peace and God for everybody. Let God of peace and pray for Trump like no other. And pray for this country. That's the main thing. We're in a mess, guys. But if we don't get the right person in there, we're going to go down the drain. Just saying.